It's gonna be alright. And I told you we're back. We was gonna bring you another Lee and Air's corner. Well now today we're just chilling on Lee and Air's corner. Beautiful coffee shop, beautiful day. Uh, forgive the noise, but I'm pretty sure this mic is gonna cancel out a lot of that issue that we had. Uh, once again, we're in sunset of sunny Glendale. Uh, once again, it's a beautiful day out here. Very beautiful day. This is another Phoenix 22 Rising production. Uh, once again, I'd like to introduce Eric of Lee and Eric's Corner. Hello, I am Big Eric of Lee and Eric's Corner. Exactly. I think you heard that before. Haven't you heard that? Doesn't that sound familiar? It's, it's, see, I'm not giving y'all no introductions. I did that on the first. I ain't doing all the stuff. Y'all know what he do. Y'all know what he's capable of. Y'all know what I do. Right. We got a lot of stuff to cover. We've been off the air for a while, and me and Eric have been definitely wanting to dive back in this conversation oh, yeah. of yeah. what's going on and with these crazy ass cops and everything going on. So, I, I wrote some notes down to make sure I wouldn't forget some stuff. And the very first, first thing I want to talk about. Is, is is white privilege <laughs> something that they that, that whites in America do not even know they have right apparently they don't even know they have it it's money know? in the bank right it's like finding money after your grandpa died <laughs> exactly I didn't know I had it let's go to the flag I know the flag has played out there are much more things and trust me we are going to get to those but oh more phones okay that's what you have when you're doing a live show it happens it's okay so the thing is we're, we're talking about the, the flag Okay, here's the problem. Like I said, I, take, I took a lot of Facebook questions and things like this on the flag. Here goes. Even people my age who graduated, and not to date myself, but that graduated in 95, still tell me that, hey, Lee, what do you mean? The rebel flag with me meant, you know, we had fun, we we, we we're hunting, we, we, uh, 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 we got drunk and stuff like that. And I'm like, okay, you might have thought that when you were in 95, okay? But you've went to school. Come on. I know a lot of y'all went to college and got educated. You know what that rebel flag means. Yeah. Stop lying to yourself. And this ain't a personal thing about what just black people think it means. It's history what it means. The flag <laughs> ran over uh, 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 with, with, with the South, you know, who were trying to keep their slaves. It was a rebel flag. They okay? were rebelling. Now rebel. you got 18 billion people go to, well, that's not even a real flag. The real flag was a battle flag. No, 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 no. Look, you got the crossing bars and, 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 the, blue, and the blue stars and all that kind of stuff. That's a rebel flag. Yes. Now quit trying to play around with it and switch it up and this ain't really that and this, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Okay? The fact of the matter is white people need to start owning the fact no, no. that your ancestors I can't own it. did that. That's I, what I they did. It. I'm not saying you did it. They did it. I and you need to own up to it. There's nothing I can do about it. Now here's a couple other quick little things about the rebel flag. A lot of y'all never gonna it's our heritage, it's our heritage. It's yeah, my okay. heritage. So, okay. so nobody's ever explained to me their heritage except one friend of mine, and I will give her credit, I'm not going to say a name or anything like that, but I will give her credit for that. She said, well, in my heritage, you know, the rebel flag was, like I said before, it was going out hunting, drinking beer, and just hanging out. I and never thought of it as a, a, a racial ploy to make black people angry or to remind them of the slavery. I, I, never, oh, I, ne I never, never put those two, I never put those two together. Oh, okay. I and know. I said, well, this, here's the thing. Now you know. But the thing about that is she, like many others, don't care. Because they keep saying, well, we shouldn't have to take it down. I mean, we should have to. No, you can still have it in your house. You can still fly it on your car. But it should be not. It should not be on any state or government building that black people have to pay taxes on. Right. I'm sorry. That, that be, is you ridiculous. You can have as many personal flags. You can, you you can, can drape yourself in it. You can yes. wrap yourself in it. You can I use would, it as a king. I'd love to see your flag on your car. Oh, that's that new material they used on the rebel flag. That's nice. <laughs> right, right. You know? but don't make me pay for right. that. Right, don't don't, 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 don't. don't charge me for your racism. I, exactly. And the fact of the matter that, you know, that people are still fighting it. Well, you can't let me take this down. And you did that. That shows the, that, that shows the white privilege I'm talking about. White people have right. never had to give an inch on anything in America. Neither. Nobody never demanded. had to give an inch Nobody on demanded. anything. It was never demanded. The minute progress is shown, did you even know that the rebel flag wasn't even put on the top of any building until 1968 when they came up with the uh, the civil rights uh, the really? civil rights bill? Okay, yes, I didn't know that. That's either. when they put it on top of the, the building as a, a ploy of the rebels. We're not gonna We're go gonna away. Rebe We're not gonna do this. A symbol of, a symbol of rebellion. Oh, they did not okay. put that flag on top of that daggum government building until then. It was a symbol of rebellion. I didn't know that. Do your history, white folks. Do your history. Oh, and you'll find it. out they've and you'll find it. out that that's why it went up. They didn't think you was gonna do it. Exactly. They, they've done it was it. in oh, they know. It was in defiance of the civil rights movement. Really? And then people sit here and like, well, I I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, look, I'm gonna give you that free ride 
of letting you know. But I'm gonna tell you about your your even even for you white folks that are rednecks or, or poor and think that you don't have that same privilege, sweetheart, you do. Oh, but they do. You they'll, uh, always hey, hey, they'll they'll find it. You you do something exactly. wrong, they'll find it. And the fact that you don't know you have it is the saddest part. Well, they know it. That's the saddest they, they, part. They know. They you act know, like they don't know. Is that, they you, know that you have white privilege. And, and white, your white privilege is basically the fact that you have the right to go out here and not be stopped and beat by cops. Now, here we go. I know that some of y'all can say, hey, I've been brutalized by cops too. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, really? and, and I heard it on TV. Yeah, hey, 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 but they go home. Exactly. And I hear that on TV. <laughs> Sandra Bland didn't go home. I hear that on TV with Freddie Fox Gray News. Freddie Gray didn't go home. I hear that on TV with Fox News all the time. And this is um, one thing about Fox News that's so Michael funny. Michael Brown didn't go home. And, and this is another exactly. And this is another thing I want. I want to correct y'all real quick on before we get too deep into this. They say things like, "Well, statistically proven, black folks, whites actually go to jail. Statistics. Sati they actually go to jail. I mean, not go to jail, but get shot more than blacks." Okay, well, Fox News, you never have anybody on there to correct your stupid mistakes. So let me correct your mistakes, okay? Fox. It wasn't until this year that the DOG, DOJ, Department of Justice, actually made it a point to say all of your police departments have to turn in all your murder sheets, which means every person you kill has to be turned in. Before that, you never had to turn in anything. Well, you didn't matter. Anything. You know, so how shoot the dog. You so, didn't so matter. There, I think it was three. I think on my last thing that me and Eric did the round table, it will be coming out soon as well too. It was only 400 out of 1,500 or more precincts that actually turned in their murder sheet. Yeah. 300 wait, wait, that, out that, of over 15. That they 15. may have kept. Right. Over, <laughs> the other ones didn't keep it. Right. Over oh, okay. 1,500 or more. And, that, and that, that's if they kept a, a right. sheet at all. And if they did, it depends on how many they decided to write down that year. Exactly. And Fox News, here's the thing. How can you use 300 precincts out of 1,500 or more that have not turned in their kill sheets? Wow. Really? And here's another thing, Fox News and other white people that feel the same way. If you're so angry about it, say something about it. When y'all get mad, things get changed. Remember how Mothers Against Drunk Driving? Oh, y'all got together, got a bill, oh, yeah. got together, yeah. got a bill, then got passed, a law. Passed, it seemed like it passed overnight. Got a bill, then got a law. Uh -huh. Just that quick. So don't right. tell me about you being upset and mad about white folks getting killed. Because if, you, because if you were, if you're really so mad, long. if you're really mad, you would have a bill drafted and it would be made law by tomorrow. Well, okay, all you're, lives not matter, Lee. you're not I mad. You're not mad. Oh, all lives matter. Thank you for bringing me to my next point. <laughs> all lives matter. Let's go. We're counting up the bullets that we shoot at these darkies. Thank all you. All lives let, matter. Let, let's go back. I don't know what you darkies talking about. Let's go about. back to the all lives matter you, comment. You spook Now, I don't a, know lot, what talking about. a lot of these people, I want to ask you on this one too. A yeah. lot of people, uh, a lot of actual. Uh, 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 Running, running mates for this year's uh, presidential race, uh, yeah, d Democrats actually right, 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 right. were 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 uh, they almost got shut down in one place because Black Lives Matter was there, oh, okay, and they okay. were saying Black Lives Matter, and right. uh, some of the uh, people up there were saying All Lives Matter, and they were like, Oh hell no, no, Black <laughs> Lives Matter. Well, see, because they ain't shooting now, all people. Now, now this is for this is for the white <laughs> in people. The back. This is for the white people who don't understand why we say Black Lives instead of All. You want to feel this one? Why, why do we say all lives instead of black lives? I mean, a, a, a black lives are like, like, all yeah. lives. Because, again, they're not shooting all people in the back. They're shooting black people in the back. Mm-hmm. All lives matter. All lives, apparently, in America don't matter. There yeah. are levels of people. In fact, you ain't even human. You now, spook well, well, now, you ain't, well, now <laughs> we give me, shoot you in now, the back. Now, why, now give me your you take. Now. Now, and, and all this they see happening on the daily, uh, on the daily news. That's right. So tell me, why would they continue to say... All lives matter. Then. Well, because they want to trade places with you. Is that what it is? I they want to trade places. See, if they can't win it, then I'll share it. You know, because okay, just give me half of what. Give me half of your story. You know, I want to co-opt your story, but I can't be. I can't be. Say that word again. Co-opt. They want to co-opt. They want to co-opt your pain. Your, your story. Hey, but wait, wait. There is a pain that comes with that. You want to co-opt uh, Black Lives Matter? You got to qualify for that. There's a qualification for that white folks yeah. you want to you want to give us all lives matter since when did that all matter because we have come in second class citizens since we've been here all lives matter well there is a qualification for that because all, 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 all lives matter the all lives matter the all lives matter doing slavery oh, the all lives matter in the well, 60s you're just a little half a jigaboo were, were, were y'all saying that in the 60s oh no 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 were y'all saying that when rodney king got his ass no, whooped no well, all no, lives matter Lee. No. I don't understand. What's was y'all saying that when Mike Brown got killed? All no, because matter. he was a thug because some white it. dude put out that. No, I'm sorry. The police chief put out there about him stealing some cigarellas, as it were. Like y'all motherfuckers ain't stole shit. 
Oh, they stole Wait, the whole thing. They stole the damn country. Well, I can you steal it, but you can't steal it. Well, I can steal it. You can't steal it. I know, she's from the stories. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we got a celebrity. We got a celebrity in our midst. Just rolled up. What story she tell us? My old ass daddy or something. Anyway. No, that's sugar daddy. Sugar daddy. All right, go ahead. Yeah, but like I said, white people stole the whole damn country. You gonna right. jump on Mike Brown for stealing some cigarellas? No, I see. I can steal it, but you little Portuguese right. can't steal it. See? This boy had just graduated, right. about to go to college. That's right. And was shot down. Didn't get a chance to get the reputation of which they want to accuse him of. Right. He just got here. And they How wanted the they wanted to keep that here. same marred image of him as being a thug. That's why the police chief, who wasn't letting anything open, all of a sudden flooded that tape out there. Because he wanted to make you see, think of him as a monster before you got the chance. I've That's talked right. to several people on, on the plane out to California Feeling about that. Right. And they said the same thing. I talked to this Jewish guy. He's, he says he's white. But I asked him his nationality. He said, I'm Jew. I said, now, which is it? Why the Jew now? He said, well, both parents are Jew. But then, damn, you Jewish. Okay, why you want to be white? Anyway. Well, I ain't black. Right, exactly. <laughs> but I asked him about this. He said, well, in Jupiter, in Jupiter, Florida, where we stay at, <clears throat> we talk about this on the golf course. And me and my wife, we cried ourselves to sleep when that happened. But like I said, when I'm talking to my friends on the golf course, it doesn't really touch us, you know? So we kind of look at it and, well, you know, he was wrong for doing that. I said, but he deserved 12 bullets? <laughs> no, he did not, sir. He did not. But see, it's that type of attitude. Why you got to shoot him? It's that no type of attitude, right? In danger here. Why are we shooting at him? They're exactly. I, I don't understand. It, it shouldn't that be a last resort? You're shooting at people. I mean, the taking of lives. Shouldn't that be a last resort? And for all the people who talk about, there's another fact. For all the people who talk about white people get shot too. White people get shot too. White people get shot too. Well, if you look at the statistics on that, the statistics on that show, that almost every white person that sh uh, that, that get killed by the cops are shooting. At the cops, <laughs> they deserve it's, to it's get shot. To shoot at and, okay Corral. and that's why you don't see that on Fox News. Why you think you don't see white people getting shot on Fox News like you see black people? Because they're in the wrong. Well, well, <laughs> they yeah, can't, yeah, they can't show easy. it. Black they can't show easy. it. Huh? We're unarmed. Right. Y'all motherfuckers shooting back at the cops, <laughs> so they can't show that because that shows oh white people <laughs> doing stuff wrong. <laughs> we can't. We can't show that. I don't know what you're talking about. They don't do wrong We can't things. show that. They're, they're just getting shot killing. just like you, darkies. They're getting shot just like you. <laughs> but there's no video. Ain't that weird? Don't you find no that video? And then, don't you find that out? And then they then they want to tamper with what little video that they do have. Oh you get little God. clips and blips and edits throughout the, whatever it is they release. So, so so which one did you bring me to on that one right there? What were we just talking about on that one? Which one? Who, 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 where, 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 uh, you brought me from my first point to my second point. It was from uh, 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 what, what? Uh, Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Yes. So the whole Black Lives Matter movement is trying to people are trying to marginalize it by this All Lives Matter and finally it. It. that too. And oh, now, and now, and now, and what we mean by trivializing is the fact that if you get everybody on board with all lives matter, that minimizes yeah. the black lives matter. Right. No, no, no. What's no. so special about you? I mean, well, exactly. All lives well, all lives matter. Just like, oh, a, a famous Facebook uh, uh, post is up there now. Y'all need to go check it out. That motherfucker said, <laughs> would you go into a cancer rally and say, hey, there are more diseases than just cancer? <laughs> exactly. So there think about that. So think cancer. about that. The next time you cancer. say, uh, all lives matter instead of black lives matter because that's how we feel about it. You're being very rude and, and, and it, it's not necessary. Alright. We're going to move along here to my, my third... Oh, you take it easy now. Uh, we're going to move along here to my, my, my third thing on the point. we got to check this out. What else we got here? Uh, uh, oh, 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 oh. Okay, I'm sorry. I had to, I had to go back to a couple things in my high school days with the white privilege. I know a lot of you guys might not remember this, but this is from people from North Carolina. Uh, that went to my school. Do you guys remember when we had the black bar t-shirts? It's a black thing, you would understand. Remember that? What do white folks don't wear? Uh-huh. It's a white thing, you would understand. Remember that? Why do you it's feel that why thing. do you feel the need to compete with an oppressed people in your country? You own all of this. Why do I you know, feel like you I... have to compete with us? Remember when Malcolm X was big? Remember that? With our X's oh, yeah. on? Hey, you wear your X, I wear mine, and they wore the rubber flag X. Oh. Oh, I don't uh, know about that. Was yeah, that, that, that happened oh, in my school. It was, I didn't get that. They one. can't. The reason why we say, the reason why Huey P. Newton and all of them in the Black Panthers and everybody was saying Black Pride is because that's the unity we needed to stand up. You wear your ex. Y'all have y'all have everything. This all, that should go again. Uh -huh. Y'all have everything. What do you need white pride for unless you're just trying to just just trying to be an asshole? You wait. You wear your I mean, ex and I wear you wear my, your I don't ex, know anything about. I, I never you, heard yes, that. Yes, that was a famous one too. You were, and they had the rubber flat X on it. You wear your ex, I wear mine. I'm oh, like, I, I, oh. and, and you just look at them kind of like, 
Really? No, you can't have nothing. Really? You can't have an ex. And it's almost like, I'm like, what are we doing that's hurting you by saying black pride? It has nothing to do You have white pride. pride. The history is yours. Well, you stole the damn yours. country. Right. Everything is yours. The law was on your when side. Is, when is it not white white day? Why do you <laughs> need to feel like you need to compete with other people who are just trying to bring their people together? No, no, no. What you are you scared of? I, I, I'm afraid that you might compete with us. Once again, that's white privilege. Right. See, they can afford to do that. White yeah. privilege. They don't you like have, what you're doing. No. So, you know, we're going to do one. You don't like what we're doing, so we're going to do it too. We're I'm sorry to be putting all this in your face, but a lot of y'all need to be here. No, I'm, it needs I'm seeing to be all this stuff face. on Facebook, and it's just ridiculous. It needs to I'm be in like, your face. Are y'all serious? Uh -huh. All this disdain and hate and anger over Vitriol something ain't got nothing to do with you. You got nothing. the country. What more do you want? Well, you might take it, you little porch monkey. I guess so. Little well, we do. You'll you be might. the first to know. Yeah. <laughs> it won't be a mistake about that one. Oh, now this one goes out to my best friend in the world from Fox News. I woke up Mr. O'Reilly. Oh, right. I love O'Reilly. He's completely barking mad. Oh, he got so upset. Did y'all see him on there? This is not a racist country, and I dare anyone to challenge this to be a racist country. Really? I wish I had a pen in my hand too, and I can point really? at you. This, this, is, is, not a, it's this not is not a racist. This is not a racist country. This is not a racist country. Really? I don't know what you're talking about. O'Reilly, really? It's not is this a not a racist country? country? And for all y'all people out there, think that yeah, we'll see raise the oh flag for all the wonderful. <laughs> we're all Americans. And, 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 what, and, and what do they say? What's the first thing they say? Oh, we give all kind of subsidies to the poor to disenfranchise them. I'm sorry, but guess what? Oh, charity, don't, charity don't get to the ghetto. <laughs> it don't get to the ghetto. It don't make it to the ghetto. I'm sorry. The closest thing you got to charity to make it to the, the to the ghetto is soup kitchens. And that's about, that's as far about as it. That's about it. A bowl of soup. Right. That's about Anything else? I'm sorry. Go. And what about you? You ain't get your rent paid. You ain't get your car no paid. You ain't get your school clothes. And you what about your, your, you? Ain't what about school. And these so these big businesses he says are doing this. Well, the big businesses should be doing it since we they're bailed in, them right, out. Right. Right. Since and they're, they're getting, in your neighborhood. And since they're getting all this extra corporate welfare. CVS. Corporate Whatever. welfare. Right. Corporate welfare. And you bailing them out. They're too big to fail, Lee. I don't understand. They're too but, big to fail. They're much too big. They were around before your little porch monkey. And, they'll, uh, and like I said, they'll give the businesses their money back. But as you said, they won't give us our individual money back. No, no. And here, here as a side note, I just love the part I'm talking about giving the money back. <coughs> uh, a friend of mine named Lee Baumgartner, got to be 300 years ago, said to me, Ah, oh, wait, wait. They can't stand Bill Cosby right about now? They're going to deface his, his, his statues and take his plaque off the building? Notice how they don't give him his money back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're yeah. so pissy with him, but you're so mad at him. Oh, my God. I'm so mad at you, Bill Cosby. I'm just so mad. I, so mad I can't give you your money back. I want his first name. What's his first name? First, uh, last name is Polanski. Roman Polanski. Roman Polanski. All right. For all y'all, look, I've never been a big fan of Bill Cosby because I don't like the way he talked down to black people. But that does not take away nor deject from the fact that, oh, you want Bill Cosby's head and he ain't even, you ain't even proved nothing yet. Yeah, nothing's been you proven. You ain't been to court. You ain't done nothing. Well, I got to admit, he said this in the documents. I don't give a flying. He said a lot of things. I don't give, I don't care what it was said in the documents. And lots of things He was said. not charged. Right. He was not convicted in this country. Right. Now, there's some Hollywood people that want to see Roman Polanski come back. He, oh, yeah. He, he, he got. He was guilty and left. He was guilty, found guilty. He left the country. And he did everything that, he, that you treat Bill Cosby the way that you think exactly. that he did. He, he, he was found guilty. He was convicted. He fled. Well, that happened in the seventies. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. Young women fled. just love to throw themselves on bed and rape themselves at thirteen. Uh, it, right. it was okay. Oh no, 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 no. He did everything that you uh, you oh, treat Bill Cosby as though he did what Roman Polanski did. No, Roman actually did it. It, we know that he did it. The girl, he even paid the girl. The girl said it was so long ago. Damn, I mean, I can't get it back. And that's why and the stars are like, when he and took that's it. why the stars are like, <laughs> just let it go. We just let, let it go. go. We don't come on back. They gave this mother mother uh, an Oscar in 2005, I think it was. Check my facts. Check it for me. He won an Oscar for some movie he did in 2005. They wanted him to come back to come get the Oscar. They gave him an Oscar for one. Do you think Bill Cosby would get an Oscar if he was convicted? They're trying to take down his bus at Disneyland. Really? At some some this is really? he got some and he hasn't been and convicted. Didn't they, and then they asked Barack Obama, would you take back the well he got he got a medal of something, the highest ranking you can get as a as civilian. a as a civilian. Right. And he said, Well medal we're not freedom, we're, I, he said I don't have the authority to take that back. I didn't back. ask you if you had the authority. I and asked they, you if they, they can't. They don't have the authority to. Well, and I didn't ask saying. him about he the authority. He can't take it back if he ain't got the authority. Well no, the question was, would you if you could oh. take it back? They didn't oh, ask him that. They asked him, Will he? Will he? He said, I don't have Did the authority. Him, uh, he said, but I will say this. I think whenever you drug a woman and have sex with him, that's rape. See, he got to cover his bases just in case all the different people are listening. You I see. see. So he has to, uh, you know, appeal to the base. I see. So to cover his ass just in case Bill did do it later right. on. Right. And he can say, I told you, I was on your side. 
But my point is, look, whether he did it or not is not my point. My point is who y'all choose to pin it on and who y'all choose to give all this push to. White Robert Prim Polanski is still making movies overseas. That's right. Living, lo living lovely. They're going to sit there and lie. We almost caught him in Switzerland one time. You ain't caught him. You, no. you ain't trying you to, get him trying to catch him. Let that have been Let Bill Cosby. Let that have been Bill Cosby. Cosby. Right. Oh, you would have caught him. Black ops over there to go You would have caught him. You know, it. In the cover of darkness. They would have sent the same people that went and got Osama. Yeah, 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 yeah. Delta Team 6. <laughs> Break up the force. We got to get that in back. That's right. That's right. They would have shown his face all over TV. No, don't let him cover his face. We no, got no. him. Same thing we with OJ. Him. They get to persecute mother mothers out this Yes, bit. sir. I'm like, wait a minute now. Hold on. So let's just say OJ did this. That's only two white folks compared to a <laughs> couple of hundred thousand. That, that you are guilty of. What are you talking about? Y'all want to know why but people... you can't get loose Y'all know why black people are so happy when OJ got out. Number one, he had a dream team. He paid a ton of dough for it. Yeah, he did. And, and he, number and, two... And he, and he proved that it can be... The justice he proved can it, be yeah. Hard. And here's the thing. And here's the thing is... And you can't get any justice if he ain't thing, got I don't know if he killed that white woman. Personally, no. I don't care. I don't think he would do it with his children in the house. I, I just don't think that would happen. Me, personally, I don't know. They said a lot of things about Nicole and who she was involved with. But like they said, if the glove don't fit, you must have quit. You must have quit. Don't so, you love uh, Don't you love Johnny? And we ain't got no lawyers like Johnny no more. See, Johnny, no, no, no. we ain't got lawyers like Johnny got no, no more. No attorneys that's no going to stand like up and Johnny. talk about it. No go, more like Where Johnny. they at? Where'd they go? Uh, oh, you had mentioned something a while ago when I had said, listen, if this has really become epidemic with black folks being shot in the back by these by, by these cops, that's what they are. <coughs> these, these, these. Where is the 800 number? Where is the 800 you know, I'm glad you said that. Hey, I want to put this out right now to everybody who may be listening. Shouldn't there be a number that we can call? If you know black lawyers, right now is the best time to tell them to get a 1-800 number. They can make money. Brothers are being shot right and left. They family going to need to sue to get the money. We need a 1-800 number for black folks because they're getting shot left and right. Give it for the families. 1-800 help a nigga. I don't care what it is. <laughs> you know? Just like the bail bonds, but give me something. Because it's almost like they got a number that says 1-800 shoot a nigga. Exactly. It's like somebody's calling the cops saying, hey, look, call this number if you wanted to shoot a couple more punch. 1-800, black folks in distress. Something. <laughs> give us something. Man down, you know. 1-800, god damn. Give us a 1-800 number so they can call. It can't right. always be the LCLU, the ACLU. They backed up. Well, we they, need they, they're, black, they're whole getting out. They, we whole need game. black lawyers on the job so we can go into these situations and get these cops. We need to go after these cops, take their pensions. Right. Don't be just showing the police department because yeah, all you're doing is getting our money. Show, yeah, all they're doing is just all you're doing is getting taxpayers' money. money. You need you to, need to sue the cops. And there's been a lot of people lately that are suing the uh, the cops, the, the individual. The, 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 they're suing the cops. Right. That's right. And that's good for and them. Because what they're afraid of is being sued. The department is being afraid of being sued because that affects their 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 budget for that for that. Well, you that know they put year. money in for that, just like people who just like doctors and lawyers who get sued. They got a fund for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you go over that fund, it's like, oh my God, you need to break. Break it. Yeah, you, you need, need to, to break, break them. Okay, you need to cost them. You need to charge them because you're not charging them enough. They're not being charged. Now, the only thing that they that they, that they pay that they respect is if you charge them enough. Money in his pocket. Money and brutality. And go hey, and money go, and brutality. Go, well, like Dr. Umar Johnson out of Philly told you, uh, money, blood, and numbers. That's the only thing the white folks seem to turn around about. So I tell you what, go after the cop. He'll think two, three times. Go after the cops. Go after his pension. And real quick, let me just put a wrap up on this on uh, on Bill O'Reilly. This is not a racist nation. You won't get him to tell you that it is. We welcome everybody. We give people subsidies. We give people this, that, and the other. Yes. And you shoot us down by the downloads. You racial profilers. Because they feel as though we don't pay you, I can shoot you. We don't get the jobs that we need. It's like you have a license to kill a lion. Exactly. <laughs> and if it, I give enough, pay enough uh, money for the, for the for the license, I can shoot for one or two of you. And right. they've definitely showed in this country that they've cared more about a freaking lion than they do about a black life. See, so the lion, Lee, I don't understand. Cecil the Lion, why are you just so uptight and hating on Cecil? Farrakhan just had a, a speech about that the other day. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, to my, okay, really? I love lions too. <laughs> but you know, that's way over there in Africa once again. All right. But all once, right. That, once they say it again, that goes back to, uh, 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 what's that? That goes back to, once again, white privilege. I'm going to go over here to Africa, right. just like we do black people over here. They can afford I'm going to go over there to, to Africa. Pick and, choose. and because I can afford to kill this lion, you know what I think I'm going to do that? Yeah, I'm just gonna go kill like him. here in America. I can kill a nigga so. Why not? What about that what cop? They do wait, wait, wait. What was that cop that was on? What was his name? There was a cop that he was a reserve. He was like in his seventies. He was a dentist or a doctor or somebody. He wanted to be a he was on reserve, but he didn't go through the training to be a cop or something. He shot some cat. Well, there's so many now, yeah. right? 
but he shot some. He shot a brother. Oh, you mean the old white the dude? Oh yeah. Yeah, that that thought he was pulling his taser from his chest. But right. Him, he didn't even him. go through all the proper training. Right. He actually just had he he was friends with like the the, uh, the police chief and all that kind of stuff. And they gave. Yeah, him he's a, in jail. He's in jail. Oh, right. We okay. gonna see what happens to him. They right. trying to raise funds for him. Oh, oh, oh here's another speaking thing. Speaking of raising funds, which, <laughs> I love the the, uh, the Dylan Roof situation with the race. I was just about to say that. Okay. This is not but a race. Paul Dean, they this raised is, some money for This is not too. a racist country, O'Reilly. When no. you got people raising money for Dylan Root, and it's amazing too, that it's amazing how the whole world can encompass itself around people just because they died in a church. You wanna know why that was so 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 easy for people to grasp? Because we know you niggas wanna do nothing wrong in the church. That's y'all place of worship. We know. It, that, that's not a thought in our mind, but when y'all on the streets, hey, y'all could have been doing anything. Well, you free so range. We, so it's you're like range, we gotta wait. Right, we gotta wait and see what the cops say before we before we decide to support you. But these people were in prayer. We they had, had to support church. them. They were in check. Oh, y'all never seen so many white people in a black church in my life except when they had them, them funerals when everybody got together. Oh shit! I didn't oh, get my, the I ain't never seen so many really? white people in one church in my life. I didn't get. The I'm like, really? What's that? gonna happen tomorrow? Oh, business as usual. Right, just like September 11. Everybody, everybody's all together and look. Hey, it's my brother. You see that? Yeah. We're all brothers. Next week, uh, I ain't getting that nigga no job. What's wrong with you? Job, I can't man. do that. I, mean, I can't. I mean, I hang on now. You're Some of them are all right. You're but stepping over the line. I'm not giving you no work. I'm now. not trying to invite anybody over you here. Might, no. You might be able to afford a house to live next to me. I might get you new. I can't do that. I'll get you some water, um, but I can't get you an application. But, but what were you saying about that? You just brought it up about the. You, you brought well, it don't forget Paula Dean. Oh, oh, money, money, money. Raising money. Dylan Ruth is getting millions. Mail to there him. There was $5 million for, in the account for, for Cat. For his defense. Well, don't forget the one that just shot, shot Cat and, 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 uh, oh, he tried to drag me. I was, I felt as though I was being dragged. Cincinnati. He was, wait, he was bailed out. Cincinnati. That's over yeah, a million dollars. Cincinnati cop. Out. Oh, I'm sorry. Cincinnati school cop. He was a, he was a, a college cop. Come on, y'all. Y'all saw the video. <laughs> he was a college cop. Oh, hey, like I said to, to my buddy Lee, gotta be 40 years ago. Listen, um, <clears throat> here in beautiful, sunny Glendale, California, for some strange reason, I see, it says on the car, uh, campus police. But I see campus police pulling over civilians on the streets. So I had said, first I was thinking, is it like for the length of campus property that these campus cops are stopping people? You, you can have some money if you can catch them between this post, this light and that light, this traffic light and that traffic light. Maybe you can get some money. I don't know. And then I thought, no, no. This, this is Glendale PD on campus patrol is what this is. Although it says college. Uh, Glendale College Patrol, Glendale College Police. I'm figuring it's probably Glendale PD on campus patrol. By the way, he's been fired, your boy in Cincinnati. He's been fired, they've severed all ties with him. Yeah, oh, the one had, with the dr dr drug him? Oh, no, no, <coughs> yeah, yeah, with the yeah. drug, yeah. And the mayor, the, the mayor even spoke out. The mayor said, look, this would not have happened on our watch. We wouldn't even stop anybody for not having a tag in the front, which is what he was pulled for. Right. He didn't have a tag in the front of his car, like that ain't what that was just about. like California. You but know, you gotta have a tag on the front and back of your car. Yeah, but see, that, it wasn't about the tag on the front or the front or the back. He was trying. He wanted to shoot somebody because, hey, when he pulled him over, how did he shoot him so fast? Hey, it's like I said, but I saw the whole tape several how did, times. But how did he, he shoot did just like because so he had his gun already ready? He well, said, "So you want to shoot?" He somebody. said, "You know what? Let's go ahead and take off your uh, your seat belt." And he's like, dude was like, "Hold it! Why are you saying take off your open seat belt?" He started open opening his door. He closed He closed the door. I said, as soon as he said. He's a pow, pow right oh, in the head. Oh, I mean, come right, on. You got to shoot him? Yeah, that's murder, Traffic? dude. That's murder. Now, I know I saw, I heard all these lawyers. Well, you know, he could have almost could dragged have, him. That's why he got scared. Yeah, and, he and, did and, not. Yeah, and, yeah, and bumblebees can fly from my ass. Listen, you got to, this is shootable? This is, if this, this would have been, up the if this would have been a white girl or man, this would not They'd have happened. They'd still be negotiating. Y'all know that, Joe. He would have tore the ticket up in your face and called you a school cop, a college a cop, and get the hell bitch. out of my face. And that would have been it. How dare you write but me let, a ticket, Let's move on, because I don't want y'all to think that we're not getting to the stuff, because we're getting to my baby right now. Who and that's my girl, Sandra Bland, from uh, Texas. When they treated her like a dog, they treated her like yeah. a dog. Yeah. Not even like she was too. human. Y'all saw the tape. I ain't got to go over it. He got upset, because she wouldn't put their cigarette out. Now, you know, I get mixed things from black and white people. Black people tell me some black people tell me the same thing. <laughs> now Lee, you, you should just put out a cigarette, you know, because cops are crazy. They're I ain't got to put out a cigarette. On. Does that look, stop you from writing a ticket? Thank you. Look look what my people have went through in the past. They stood up and died for theirs, and we got a little bit more now. Now you're willing to go backwards yes. and live on your knees? That's right. Really? It's simple. They did worse than shoot you back then. They, they hung you and watched you die. Cut, right. off your body, you. cut off your body parts and put them in your mouth. Right. Burned but y'all telling, telling me that well you want to make it home tonight you want to make it home tonight do you want to do you want to live on your knees or on your feet 
tell me. That's oh, all no, I'm they saying. They want to serve on their knees. Now, I'm not, now I'm not saying now if somebody pull out a gun and be rebellious. That's not what I'm no, saying. I'm not saying, we're I'm not not saying, saying be, be stupid. stupid. Okay, I'm just saying, if you are smoking that. a cigarette in your car, no, I'm sorry, I'm in my car, I'm sorry, would you mind get out, would you mind get out of the car? Sure, what, what? but I, I under protest because I don't think I should be getting out of the car. They pull out something, all right, I'll get out. But under protest, just so you know. Well, hey, I make sure, say be no make sure it's noted, make all the way down. Sandra, I say be Sandra no did what she was supposed to do. She, she did. Noted, she noted her rights she, all the she way She sure it. did, the whole time. All the, the whole way time. Don't and, let, silence is what allows this nonsense to And then she gonna sit there, and then you got the black cop who shows you. See, I never said white people. It's just white people that's doing the shooting. I never said white people cops are bad. I said almost all them cops are like that, because the, the black woman cop came up, she started talking and jumped to Sandra too. Well, well, she you, has to prove you, that she's just as hard on exactly. as darky well, as anybody else. Exactly. Well, if you don't, if you don't listen to them and wouldn't move, you just got here. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing, chick. Well, there's something. There's something on you. I mean, you were you you were assaulted. You, your pants are scuffled too, Officer Donut. Slammed the head, head to the ground. That's my head, fool. I got epilepsy. Good. Really? Uh, yeah. That's professional. It's very professional. Listen, you have a job to do. Well, when, uh, people, look, listen they to me out there. That. People, listen to me out here. Listen to me. We pay their salary. Y'all acting like we don't do that. We have a right to book. Yeah, but we, we have don't a right to, to, to be angry about it. Had this talk. Black folks don't learn and you don't read. You don't educate yourselves. And they're going to do this to you every time because you don't take it. It don't take much. The laws are already there. All you have to do is read it and understand. If you don't know, ask somebody. We got YouTube all over the fucking planet and you're going to sit here and act, and, and act like you don't know where to get the information. It's like throwing from. money It's like throwing money in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in the trash. Down an empty well. Come on, brother. The, the laws bring, are already get, there. Look, the, first of all, these are policemen to protect and serve, which is their motto, well, well, by the way. Not, not their what you call it. Like I said on my website, you'll, on my website you'll see to punish and enslave, which more like it. <laughs> I love that. Um, one. <laughs> that's what they're really to about. To serve or to punish and enslave. And then you got to <laughs> ask yourself, you know, look, and, and Facebook, you know what y'all can start doing, especially for my hometown, of Hickory. 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 Y'all can stop that shit about that one cop y'all found that, that danced with y'all at the cookout. Yeah, let that go. Well, that, that one cop ain't helping y'all. That one cop. Thank you, Mr. Goodwrench, or whatever your name <laughs> is, but Officer Goodwrench. Y'all can let that one cop. Y'all can let that one cop go. Officer handcuffs. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> nice of he in your pocket, but let's see, <laughs> but, let, but let's see what happens in the middle of the night. <laughs> oh, let's see how he shows when you up get then. pulled over. Because I have a cousin that said he wasn't so nice to him. So oh. before we start dancing and making it go viral. Yeah, let, let's think about that. Because we get the one that act right. Because Officer Donut is still Officer Donut. Let's, right. not, let's not get it and twisted. Detective yeah. Pound Cake. Because one will yeah. beat you down in the street. You think the rest of them will? No. Yeah, look at this. The, they always talk about the bad cops. Let's talk about the good ones. Okay. Oh, yeah, you're right. right. You, found, about the you found one. Uh, okay, <laughs> let's talk about the good cops. Well, we ain't talking about the good cops. We're talking about the bad cops. But the bad cops, those are just far and few in between. The good cops. Really? Are, well, where are the good cops when the bad cops are out here showing their ass? Thank There's you. There's a question. Thank you. All they, these good cops you're talking about, why don't they check the bad cops? There's the, another question. Another good point. Yes, yeah, for all the people, all, all the cops ain't bad. Well, why all they, cops aren't why bad. Ain't they, all, we ain't been shot by all cops. We've been shot by these cops. And why aren't they stopping them? Why? Because they have their own code. Uh, <laughs> translation, you, you don't care you, about You, you respect my shit? Day. I respect your shit. Well, That's how it goes. Well, now wait a minute. Now wait a minute. Now this is so not about respect. How are you going to demand respect? No, I'm talking about the cops for each other. Oh well, but that's what it's about. All right. Well, let's just respect my shit. I respect you. I don't grab me while I'm punching me in the throat. Leave me alone. Because one day you might want to punch somebody. Because one day you might want to punch somebody. Exactly. And and we get together and punch somebody in the throat. Now they have a good old They want to sit up here and talk so much about gangs and everything else. That's the biggest gang going. You know it's you know it's really funny how you heard about the '80s and the early '90s. You know how they was up here fighting gangs and we can't match them. They got automatic weapons and this that and the other. And then it just seemed to taper off. Remember that? Then all of a sudden, it's like they took all that rage and started killing unarmed black people. Like, we can't handle the game, but we can handle your ass. Oh, you unarmed. I mean, come on. Go <laughs> back so, to... Wait, you so your, mad, why don't you go down to South Central LA take and hang your, out on the porch? Take your ass to the same places y'all talking about. Go back down to uh, South Central Chicago. I mean, uh, South, South Side, Side of Chicago. Chicago right. Yeah, go fight with them. East Side of Detroit. You want to fight. Pull your tanks up to them. Right. Yeah, see, they'll fight you. They're, yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll fight you. And they'll fight you from the east. They, they like the up. Middle East. They'll hit you with a dirt rock. They don't care. <laughs> they'll, they'll fight you. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. They'll, they'll that, hit that, you. But that, you don't want to go over there. You don't no, want to go there because no. they'll fight back. Hey, same thing with your buddy Dylan Root. Dylan Root, what was the tagline? You black people shoot our... Well, no, you black people rape our women. Rape our women and take it over the country. And take over really? the country right away. Now, I asked Lee, got to be You can't rape the women? Well, hang on. Wait a minute. If you... If, I, I asked. Dylan Root, if you have this image Was that bad? Black, was that not tasteful? <laughs> We used to say that back in the day, I'm sorry. Rick the Willing, wait. If, if, if it was that bad, Dylan Root, the question becomes, when you have an image of black men raping white women, is it in church? Is this where you get this image from right. in your mind? Is it in church? That's power. <laughs> it's 
<laughs> I want to know, is it in church where you have this image? Then why did you sit there for an hour and you decided that these these five 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 women, four guys, whatever you shot, you shot? Why are you shooting in the church with old folks? Did you see a, 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 a rape occurred? In, was that occurring in the church someplace? You want to talk? Okay, most people, people talk about black people doing whatever they're doing. They're down in the hood someplace. Tell you what, Dylan, why didn't you go down to South Central LA? Well, it do you most good. Right. Well, okay, down in the hood where it's all good, where well, you have this concept of black black people, black men, racist white women. Big black bucks. Why don't you go down there and set, set off a bomb or two and see if you make it out? Yeah. I mean, but, you mad. But they don't want to go there. They want to go to the, they, they want to hurt the good black folks. So they yeah, can send a message. Just like the KKK did with blowing up the churches back in the 60s and the 50s. They right. don't want, they didn't want to take that to Harlem or where black people were standing on the block and say, right. here, and nigga, take back. this, take this. No, they didn't want to do that. Uh, oh, okay. No, they didn't want to, okay. they didn't want to do that. They're scared. They're cowards. They're always cowards. And that's uh, how that's going to be. I yeah. see. Cowardly people do cowardly things. Right, right, Plain right, and right. simple. I mean, a hero is going to be a hero. I'm not seeing any heroes here. See, if you let the cops tell it, all oh, victim. I'm, see, I, I'm bleeding. See, I was afraid for my life. Did you see the size of that 12-year-old? He was huge. He was like 181 pounds, 5'8". I mean, we, we, we shot him too late. And, and as my friend Eric would say, we need this. Hey, look. Black people... You need black people who are speaking out for uh, Black Lives Matter and everything else, y'all need to get on the news and really talk about this bullshit they're using since... 1950 or 1960. They still using these racial stories. It started lately when I heard uh, uh, Darren Wilson. Oh. It's like he had the eyes of a demon. Oh, so now the nigga tripled in size. His eyes are turning yeah. red. When the last time you seen a demon? When you looked in the mirror? When the last time you seen well, a demon? He takes one to know one, right? When the last time you seen a demon? They, they he looked like, like a demon. Looked like, like, really? It looked like a demon. Oh, it, yeah. it wasn't a he. It was no longer human. It looked like a demon. It so, was coming after So me. we triple in size. Yes. You and our eyes green, glow red. And you turn green. Okay, here's, a, here's another one y'all might not know about too. Black dude got shot in Charlotte. It's been a year ago. He was a football player for Florida State. He had wrecked his car. The uh, the trial is going on now. He had wrecked his car. He was knocking on people's doors trying to get help. Some woman called saying that he was trying to break into the house. Like the purge. A cop pulled, uh, pulled up. Right. He saw the cop. He's walking up slowly. We don't know if the boy had a concussion or whatever. He saw a red laser beam on his chest, which cops use as a, you know what I'm saying, with their guns. Sight. And he ran. Now, we don't know if he ran at the cop. The dash cam shows him running off into the side. They put eight holes in that boy while he was on the ground. What? The cop is on trial right now. Now, a lot of people saying it didn't look good because it looked as if he rushed the cop. But let's use some of the same psychology you use when white folks get shot. Wow. He was in a car wreck. He could have had a concussion. He could not have been thinking straight. We don't know any of these things. And like the brother that said that was up on the scene next, they wow. asked the black cop, they said, Sir, did you pull your gun? No, I didn't. What would you have done, sir, if he would have came at you or whatever the case may be? He said, well, I thought about putting him in a sleeper hole to calm him down, but I wouldn't have shot him. I didn't even think about pulling my gun. Boom. That was the second cop oh, wow. on the scene. Wow. Third cop said the same thing. The only one that didn't say that is the one that shot him, which is the white cop. The people who want to shoot you will shoot you. And here's, and here's another thing you have to ask yourself, people. Here's another quick They'll question for yourself. Why is it the police's, uh, their, 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 uh, their, what was it? I'm just gonna say their rule. Why is it their rule not to wound anybody? It used to be. You can't wound nobody. No, you don't wound anybody. Wait, wait, they no, used no, to no. say halt in the name of the law and all that oh, good no, stuff. No, no, back Stop, police. That was back. no, police. No, 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 no. That, that was back even before that. No, since the 80s and stuff when people started getting sued, you need to ask your police station this. Huh. Why, Why is it no policy? To wound? Why is it policy? You cannot wound. No, they have to kill. They shoot to kill. If I pull my gun, you're gonna die. That's how I go, unless I miss. You know, you're going to die. You, oh, okay. So, well, and, uh, dead men tell no tale. Right, exactly, because they've been getting right. sued. Another thing is this. What's going on with the rash uh, with, the, with, with the rash oh, things no, of when cops do get, when, when people do get shot or tased, they're not calling or not allowing the ambulance to help the victims because they don't want you to live to sue. See, you oh, have I a story. I didn't know like that. Yeah. I'm learning something See, you today. have a story, too, and it's better if you're dead because when they go right. before the grand jury, it will be you them and a grand jury somebody else's story oh, but with you dead it's, well, it's, it's, it's just them it's just, just like with darren wilson they like well how did he well, well darren wilson the doj found that he did nothing wrong i said because there was uh, because there was nothing there there was nothing there for them to do it hey we're gonna take a, a quick break we're gonna be back in two and two it's crystal clear the united states has declared war on black people <laughs> The struggle for freedom and justice is the weapon of nonviolence. We're nonviolent with people who are nonviolent with us. 
Okay, we're back. We're back, folks. All right, look, we're going to close.